National Engineering Week, and today we're going to be doing some of that engineering with Dan Clements of the Imagination Station. Dan, good morning. Good morning. So I think you guys have uh, endeavored this task in the past where you where you put it out there and you want to see who can build the tallest tower using paper. That's right. Like you said, we are celebrating National Engineering Week at Imagination Station. And we're doing all kinds of really cool engineering activities this week that have to do with engineering and building and constructing things. But it culminates this weekend at the Paper Tower Challenge. Okay. And we have done this in the past. And as you can see, I've got a couple of examples. Um, More successful examples? Successful examples this year. Um, but, okay, the goal for our Paper Tower Challenge is to build the tallest tower possible using only two things. Okay. Newspaper. So we have some newspaper and masking tape. Okay. Those are the only two things you can get, and the goal is to build the tallest tower you can that will hold a baseball. All right. Okay. So we brought out a couple examples um, that we've made. Um, if you want to test yours out and see if it works there, well, this one's pretty tall. I I'm going to need a step ladder. <laughs> it's so tall. Now, the beauty of this challenge is that you know, if you test something out, you think about how it's going to work, you can construct it. If it doesn't work, mm -hmm. you can go back and you can try it again. Re-engineer it. You can re-engineer, okay. try and make it bigger and better than it was before. Ta-da! Now, what's really cool is this weekend, the people who build the tallest towers that can hold the baseball, they are actually going to win a prize. Ooh. Okay, so it's um, Saturday and Sunday from, 12 to, or from noon to 4. Okay, and tallest one gets a prize. Do we have to enroll beforehand, or can we just nope, show up? No, you can up? just come on in. Okay. Uh, it's free for uh, as long as you pay our admission to get in the building. Sure. You can participate in our Paper Tower Challenge. Now, I've got another one over here. This is a little bit different design. Um, it's not as bulky as that one, mm -hmm. and it's, kind of, it's like a, I don't know, baseball hammock. Okay, uh, a little cradle, too. It's got a little cradle, and it works just fine. It's not quite as tall as yours. Right. But... Still it gets, does the job. Gets the job done. It, it can holds it. Show that you don't. It's not just one design. You know, there's all kinds of iterations. So what's different about this this year? Is it the prize? The well, we actually changed up the rules a little bit. Okay. And we want to see who can build the tallest tower okay. possible. Okay. Okay. So not just able to hold the baseball, but the yeah. tallest one as well. The tallest one that is able to hold the baseball. Okay. Now. We can't obviously build, construct a uh, real big tower today on uh, live on TV, but we can. I can show you a quick version um, that is pretty easy to make at Please home. Please do. So uh, you, this might be easy to do at home if you are at home with the kids and you're looking for something to do. You have some newspaper. Um, what I've done is we can create a real quick tower just by using the same ingredients and just taping them together like this. Okay. Um, so what we do is you tape your sheets of newspaper back to back like this, and you can actually roll them up. OK, and I used two here. Mm -hmm. um, but earlier, I like this. And you'll roll it up tighter than this. The one I did earlier looks a little bit like this. And you can see I actually used seven sheets mm -hmm. of newspaper there. So basically, the idea behind this is you're putting a lot of very thin sheets of newspaper together to make something that's a little bit more structurally it's a little sound. More structurally sound. But we're going to do something else with it. We're actually okay. going to make some cuts. Okay. So I've got some scissors and I you got a pair right yes, there. I do. And I gave you your own right there. You're gonna cut along this blue or the blue lines there. Okay. And we're gonna make four cuts. And at the end it should look something like this. Okay. Now this is real easy to do at home. All you need is some you know decent sized scissors. You don't want to use the real tiny scissors. Right. Um, and some newspaper. You can tape it and roll it up a little bit tighter like we have these ones. And you can actually create this really cool tower, which we'll be able to show you guys momentarily. Oh, I hope. All and right. The prizes are are really cool. It's some of our favorite things. Are you able to reveal the prizes? I don't want to reveal too much. I didn't much. think so. Um, but they're some of our favorite things uh, down at the Science Center. And if you come down and build a real tall tower, you might have a chance to check them out. All right, that looks pretty good, Chris. So if you want to maybe fold it back like this. Did I get my So it kind of looks like a palm tree. OK. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to gently pull on the very center. Oh. <gasps> oh. And we can actually pull it all the way out. If you gently pull. Yep, just keep pulling. And you can actually create this really cool tower that's easy to make. I don't know how well it'll stand up on its own. But you can create, you know, I've got mine here. As you can see, it's very, very large. And we can keep going. And the more you pull it, the higher it'll go. It's kind of like a, I don't know. Uh, Christmas tree. 
And now it might not be able to hold the baseball. No. This is a quick and cool version you can do at home. Maybe if you're on a snow day today. Right. How cool is that? Isn't that very, isn't that neat? This is the coolest thing. <laughs> Coming up after the break, Ryan and I will be jousting. <laughs> Stay with us. WTO 11, your day is back in just a moment.